So, uh, Wolves' third friendly game under Bruno Large has just finished, and it's finished uh, Wolves 2, Las Palmas 3. And, um, yeah, how much can you read into that? They played it, obviously, 48 hours ago, intense training schedule, uh, played a match 48 hours later. And um, I don't know, as... I don't know if anyone's told uh, Wolves we we can score in the first half uh, these days. It's because, again, <laughs> third match in a row, no goals in the first half. Um, much the same as, uh, as last season. Uh, I thought Wolves were quite bright. I mean, we played Martino and Neves in the middle to start with. Interestingly, uh, Raul Jimenez... Uh, left out the squad completely, uh, but obviously they're looking at easing him back. I uh, didn't want to risk him today. And it was uh, Catroni and Fabio Silva playing up top. Um, and, uh, yeah, interesting that Catroni's getting so many minutes. He played probably around about 75 minutes, actually, because Wolves did make eight substitutes in the second half. And all but... Mosquera, uh, Silva and Catroni were uh, replaced. You saw Dendonka coming on, Gibbs White coming on. Um, but, like, the thing that worries me, although, like, we were pressing and Wolves got this hot, played this high line, this defensive high line, the first goal was so easy. Literally, a ball straight through the middle. Uh, the chap runs onto it. Sard as well to kind of block it, but there's two forwards outpacing the Wolves' defence and, and it's a, a tap-in for 1-0. And then the second goal is a counter-attack again and we got caught on the break. Nevis was back in his own area trying to defend it or just got put away. 2-0 at the break and that's a concern is, you know, if we're playing this high line, um, any of these balls with a fast, quick strikers, um, we're going to potentially struggle. Saying that, I thought Mascara uh, was probably man of the match, the Colombian that we've bought, and he could be playing himself into uh, into the starting lineup. Uh, we did miss Bolly um, today. We're still obviously waiting to see how bad his injury is, how long he's going to be out for. But no Bolly, and uh, he was a miss. But we hopefully he's, it's not going to be too bad. Um, and then second half we got going. Much better second half with all the changes. Um, I thought, interestingly, with Neves and Martinia coming off, I thought we controlled the midfield better. Um, bueno, actually, who got the crossing and an assist for the uh, for the first goal uh, by Wolves. A couple of step overs, took it, great cross. And Hoover comes in, uh, smacks it, a great volley. Uh, and that's 2-1. And Wolves, actually, after that, we're looking the better side um, pressing for that equaliser. And then I think it was Bueno again uh, that plays um, a back pass. Uh, we've seen it's happened many, many times in many matches. And straight to their, to a striker who just like, puts it past uh, Ruddy to make it 3-1. And um, Wolves continue to try and play uh, their football. And um, we've had a couple of chances. A 2-1 two, a two actually to get the equaliser ball wouldn't drop. And um, and then it's Mosquera plays route one ball. I'm really really impressed with him. The way he reads the game and turns his passes are with purpose. He moves the ball forward. He doesn't mess. He, he's no force. He's you know he's quick. He, he a couple of sliding tackles as well. He's really motivated to try and get into this team. And he plays a a, a visionary ball up to Morgan gives White who controls it well and actually does well to finish it at. Uh, 3-2 in the game, finishes 3-2. Um, how much you can read into it at this stage? It's still teething process. Uh, we saw Cody uh, that was back. He wasn't in the squad, but he joined up today. I, I didn't see Triori. He should have been joining up as well. Just if anyone saw Triori, let me know. Obviously, it's joining too late to be involved in, to in today's game. And it's going to be interesting to see what Bruno Large does with Cody. Um, obviously, playing in that back four. We know he can play in a back three, but does he play in a more defensive midfielder role? Um, I think we really do think we need to bring in another centre-back, a real top, top centre-back 
that can command and play alongside Bolly. I thought Kilman did well. I thought Mosquera did well. He certainly um, someone that I've been quite impressed with. It'll be interesting to see your opinions on him. You know, and um, yeah, mm, just gotta just think it's early days. Yeah, it's still teething the change in the system. And uh, we'll see a lot more where we really want to see it happening is the Celta Vega game, which is the game, which is the week before the start of the season, when we'll have fans at Molyneux. That will be the game really where we'll really start to see where all this pre-season is starting to pay off. Uh, anyway, leave your leave your thoughts on that. Um, you know, Mosquera, my man of the match. Uh, interested in yours, and if you've watched it or what you think of my review, and obviously I'll see you on the next one. I'm Dazzling Day, always Wolves.